Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 25. A phantom attack is an object without depth that is intended to cause an Advanced Driver Assistance System, or ADAS, to perceive the object as real and trigger an undesired reaction. A paper by Ben Nasi of Ben Gurion University explores a phantom attack applied via digital billboard against Tesla Model X HW3. The attack appears in the ad for 500 milliseconds. In response, the Tesla automatically stops the car. NASI proposes a new method that uses the vehicle's camera sensor to determine whether a detected object is real or phantom. This method reduced the attack success rate on seven state-of-the-art road sign detectors to 0.01%. See Gradient Flow Newsletter number 20 for more. Developer Snear David has created a useful online learning path and resource list for data engineering that covers books, courses, and articles. For each category, the learning path lists the level of coverage and depth for each resource, as well as a cost indicator. The learning path covers common languages and database tools used in data engineering, such as SQL, Python, RDBMS, MongoDB, Redis, and more, with brief commentary on which tools are appropriate for a particular purpose. The learning path also covers critical concepts such as data warehouses, data modeling and processing, workflow management, security and privacy, and more. See Gradient Flow Newsletter number 20 for more. A new study from Google measures gendered correlations in pre-trained NLP models like BERT, Albert, and XLNet. It presents best practices that can help teams build robust applications and bring responsible AI tools to NLP. The results have real-world applications as racial and gender bias have been documented in resume job matching software, image captioning, machine translation, and other settings. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Yeah.